Found for Party Princess, only get for this flight to Party Princess of the Sea on board. For this family trip, we went around Puerto Princesa and El Nido in three days. So, this is a jam-packed tour. Right after landing in Puerto Princesa Airport, we toured the city. First stop, Butterfly Echo Garden and Tribal Village. You will be welcomed by the peacock and peahen. They are hiding, so be sure to spot them. Then. We enter the garden where the butterflies are. They are very friendly that you can touch them. Aside from butterflies, there are other creatures here. Leaf insect, scorpions, stick insect, Millipedes, bearded pig, bear cat, and crocodile. After seeing these creatures, we walk to the Palau An tribal village. The Palau An tribe shares their daily lives and practices through a cultural show. This is their way to preserve their culture now that modernization is threatening their bloodline. Next stop, Baker's Hill. This bakery is sought after, and their best seller, according to our tour guide, is the Ube Pastillas Hopia. Then, we headed to Puerto Princesa Baywalk for photo op and the Puerto Princesa sign. We went back here on our third day as we wait for our flight back to Manila. Last stop for the city tour, Plaza Quartel and Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Plaza Quartel is a national historical site. The serene place carries a dark past. During World War II, 150 prisoners of war were burned alive in the tunnel beneath the area. Only a few have survived. In remembrance of those who died, they built the statue of the burning man. And just across the plaza is the Immaculate Conception Cathedral. And we're off to El Nido! We reached El Nido around 10 p.m. after a six-hour drive. We ate dinner at Mercada's Dine and Drink, just a walking distance from our accommodation, Rodriguez Lodge.
Day 2, Island Hopping The first island we went to is Big Lakoon. There's a lot of kayaking here to enter and roam around the island. As expected, the limestones looked so good. Next, snorkeling in South Minilok Island. For our lunch, we stopped by Payong Payong Beach. While waiting for the boatman to prepare our seafood lunch, we strolled. to Seven Commanders Beach. I love the waters here because you can see the two different shades of blue. The water is also deep. We were near the shore but the water is already 4 feet. Also, you can do recreation activities like basketball and volleyball. After the island hopping, we decided to have our dinner at Maramegmeg Beach. They said that the sunset here is nice, and I agree. And there's the helicopter island. There is a 100-year-old tree in this beach, and its name is Maramegmeg. We wandered along the beach and chose Las Cabanas Beach Resort for our dinner. And that caps off our second day. 
Day 3 Back to Puerto Princesa City The usual stopover of vehicles between Puerto Princesa City and El Nido is the halfway restaurant, and we had our breakfast here. After a few hours, we reached Puerto Princesa City to go to the famous underground river. Before going there, we had lunch at Cacauyan Forest Park Restaurant, which is a super cozy ambience. Here, we try the exotic food tamilok, also known as woodworm, although it is not a worm, but an oyster that can be seen in woods. And now, to the World Heritage Site, Puerto Princesa Underground River. We were dropped here at Sabang Beach where we rode a boat to the underground river. And we reached the island. There are macaques that go around the area. You need to keep a distance from them. Finally, we're going to enter the underground river. I am excited and scared when entering because it is a dark, unfamiliar place. But once you get used to the site, you will just be amazed. We have an audio guide that shares trivia and other information as you explore the 8.2 km underground river. Boats can enter up to 4 km, but our tour is up to 1.5 km only. This area is called Cathedral because it has religious rock formations like the Nativity and the Last Supper. This is called the Market because fruits and vegetable rock formations are here. Also, there are so much bats. Some even fly in front of your face. Overall, my favorite part of the Palawan trip is the Puerto Princesa underground river. 
visit here and you will get why it is a World Heritage Site. Since our flight was still late at night, we lounged at the Puerto Princesa Baywalk. We had our dinner at Boodle Fight at Puerto Princesa City. Then we headed to the airport after. We're finally leaving. Goodbye, Palawan!